Hey there, in this video today I'm going to cover how community property states affect your ability to qualify for a mortgage loan. My name is Jason Skinnerud, Mortgage Loan Officer, and I hope that you find the information in this video is valuable, and if you do, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. To begin, let's talk about what community property is. So community property is an asset or a liability that it's acquired together as a couple while you're married. Um, things like gifts, inheritance, or property acquired prior to a marriage is still considered separate. The only exception to this is when a spouse uses their income to pay any of the payments or any of the insurance or for any maintenance on that particular asset. So uh, the community property states are, uh, let's see if I can remember them here, Arizona, California, Idaho, Louisiana, Nevada, New Mexico, Texas, Washington, Wisconsin, and technically Alaska is considered, but they've got a couple of funky things, so we won't worry about that. Now, some problems or challenges that uh, come with qualifying for a mortgage loan in a community property state. So in the case of a purchase or a refinance, typically both of the spouses are on the loan, but sometimes um, the spouse is not on the loan either because they have bad credit, um, maybe they don't contribute any income, or for some other specific scenario. Um, the way that it can affect the borrower, though, that is on the loan application is because if that spouse who is not on the loan has any sort of debts or liabilities each month, then those debts have to be counted against the borrower. And the way that we do that is that on your loan application, we pull a credit report for the borrower who's going to be on the loan, and then we pull a separate a credit report for the spouse who is not on the loan and take the uh, liabilities off of the spouse's credit report and have to put those onto the loan application for the borrower. Um, uh, as part of either a purchase or refinance, if the spouse is not on the loan, the spouse will need to sign all of the loan documents, basically just acknowledging um, the fact that the home is being purchased because uh, it is a community property state and in the case of a refinance, again, because it is community property state and they're at least aware of that. The exceptions to that is in the case of a divorce. Uh, if you have a copy of your divorce decree and you've been awarded the home, then um, that will suffice for not having your, your former spouse uh, sign, even though that property was acquired um, while you were married. And then in the case of death, you just have to provide a copy of the death certificate. Now, another thing to watch out for is for inexperienced loan officers. Um, I have actually worked with loan officers who have um, pre-approved or helped a buyer or uh, someone refinance go through the entire process uh, all to find out that they don't qualify because their debt to income ratio is too high because they didn't factor in the spouse's debts as part of the debt to income or the VA residual income. So be sure to watch out for that. Now, if you have additional questions or comments about uh, qualifying for a loan in a community property state, be sure to ask them in the comments section below. And if you need help in your community property state with a home purchase or a refinance, my contact information is below. And thank you for watching.